Hello. This is Lab 7 with Dr. Musselman. Yay! Okay. So, we're going to do um, uh, muscles on for the eye and for the torso. So we have, this is your eye. So then you have the superior rectus, which is on top. It's a muscle right here. You have the superior oblique, which goes off from that. So there's the superior oblique, this is the superior rectus. Then you have over here, this is going to be the lateral rectus, because this is your lacrimal gland. Lacrimal gland produces um, tears, just for your, for your own knowledge. And then it, you know, tears go across to the menial side to go into your nose. So this is your lacrimal gland. So the side of your lacrimal gland is your lateral rectus. Under your lateral rectus is your inferior, inferior oblique, which goes wraps around under the eye. You have under here, this is the inferior rectus. And then this side, the side of where your superior oblique is, this is your medial rectus. Then we go on to over here. So, Dr. Musselman is going to show you the muscles right here. I'm going to take off his head. I'm so sorry, graphic. <laughs> Sorry, children. So, we're going to be <laughs> this muscle that goes from your zygomatic bone down to your mandible. This is called your mass adder. This, this muscle right here. The one that goes across, it goes from here and goes across right here. So, this area right here. This is called the buccinator. Then, the muscle that goes around the eye. This is kind of creepy. Just look into it. Look into it. The creepy it is. <laughs> this is the orbicularis oculi. Oculi means eye, so orbicularis oculi. The one around the muscle around the mouth is called the orbicularis oris. And then we have the muscle right here that goes down. This is called the sternocleidomastoid because it comes from your sternum, which is down here, and it goes all the way to your mastoid process on your skull. So sternocleidomastoid. Then you have. Oh goodness. Oh, there goes his head. Okay. You have the different muscles. So we have the pectoralis major, and we have the pectoralis minor. This is the pectoralis minor. This is the pectoralis major. You have. Let's use this one. You have the serratus ventralis, which are these ones right here, and it's serrated because of the ribs. Looks like a serrated knife. Yes. And then you have, go on to the back, turn him around. You have the trapezius, which goes right here, basically kind of like a triangle, right here, the trapezius. And then you have right here, the latissimus dorsi. I'm going to think down a little bit. Yeah. Latissimus dorsi, which is kind of the lower back area. Then we have the diaphragm. Moving it over here. We have the diaphragm, which is this muscle right here. This is the diaphragm. We have now the different layers of the stomach. So we have here. This is the external oblique, and it goes from the lateral side, it goes down like this. This is the internal oblique, which is on this side, and it goes the opposite direction. So it makes like, kind of like an X a little bit when you have this, the muscle fibers going in opposite directions. Then you have the uh, rectus abdominis, which are these muscles right here. This is the rectus abdominis. Then you have the, the one in the bot in the back is called the transverse abdominis, which are in the back right here. Other things you need to know is the gluteus maximus again, so you go it goes across like this. The gluteus medius is this one right here that's cut. Then you have the gluteus minimus, and you have the piriformis, which is this bottom one right here. And then on your leg, you have the Sartorius, which is the one that wraps around. You have the rectus femoris. 
And then on the side, you have that tensor fascia latte with that long tendon right here. So the tensor fascia latte. And that is it for lab seven. Hello again. Oh. <laughs> Leonard has very unwillingly taken his shirt off so we can do the service anatomy part of the lab. <laughs> See, I'm, tr I'm trying to be very uh, modest right here, so I'm having this right in front of me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Right. Okay, so um, this is this is the last part of, of lab seven, and um, I believe lab seven was the last lab that you had to know for the lab exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So this is the last part of it. Okay, so turn, give me your pro <laughs> profile. Okay, this right here is the angle of Leonard's jaw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, his external carotid artery is going to be right here. I can actually feel a pretty good pulse. That's where you're going to feel your carotid pulse. Yeah, I'm alive. <laughs> uh, your laryngeal prominence of the thyroid is going to be right here. Turn your head so they can see it. Yeah, right here. That's the laryngeal prominence of the thyroid. Mm -hmm. um, the sternocleidomastoid, turn your head, it's going to be right here. That's this muscle that you can see quite prominently right here. Yes. Uh, your jugular notch is going to be right here because his sternum is right here. It's <laughs> so this is where his jugular notch is. Yes. Um, his sternum. Okay. You move that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Okay. His sternum is right here, mm -hmm. where his sternum is. Um, his sternal angle is going to be right around here. That's where his sternal angle is. Mm -hmm. uh, next, second rib is going to be right up here. It goes, yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, his xiphoid process is going to be right here. I think I can feel yep. it. Right here. Yep. Yes. Uh, his temporal artery, you might not be able to see it very well just because of his hair. Yes. But it's like right in this area. Mm -hmm. Right here. Then you have the temporalis muscle, which is going to be right here. Yes, it's on the temporal lobe. Mm. On oh, the temporal lobe, temporal bone. Sorry. His deltoid. It's going to be this muscle right here. Mm -hmm. His trapezius muscle is going to be this right here. That's his trapezius muscle, also over on the side as well. Yes. Uh, his triangle of oscillation is going to be down here and at, and like I'm I'm a nursing major so so so, so just this little tip for any of you nursing majors triangle of oscillation this is where this is one spot where you would listen to somebody's lung sounds when you were doing a physical assessment yes um, oscillation by the way means listen so yeah you know, his anterior superior iliac spine or ASIS around okay show me my that's it's right gonna here. be right here Yes. It's going to be right here. And, that, and, and that, that, that's a landmark that as nurses will use to give injections, like yes. muscular injections. Mm -hmm. um, his costal margin is going to be right here. Like right, right like bottom of the ribs. Yeah, bottom of the ribs right here. Mm -hmm. um, linea alba is going to be this line that goes all the way down his abdomen. Mm -hmm. um, McBurney's point. McBurney's point. Right there. Yes. It's kind of like between like the belly button. It's halfway and the, between the, the, the belly button and the ASIS. Yes. So right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mid-axillary line. Lift up your arm. Boom. Right here. Uh, Mid-clavicular line is going to be all the way down here. And, I, and as a nurse also, this is how you would listen to someone's heartbeat. You would follow the mid-axillary line on a male all the way down here, and I would be able to listen for his apical pulse right there. Mm-hmm. On a, on a female, usually you would listen up here. Yes. Because this can be a little invasive. <laughs> <laughs> um, his pectoralis major. Mm. Right. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> his pectoralis, okay, uh, I lost my place. Where'd I go? Pectoralis major, right there. Pectoralis major, okay. His, his rectus abdominis muscle. 
Mm. <laughs> right there. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. Okay, his inferior plural margin. Okay. His inferior pl- um, plural margin is going to be the going to be the the line in between the true and the false ribs you know how your false ribs kind of fuse into one little when they, it kind of fuses together into to one right here to where it connects to the sternum so it'll be right here i can see your like your hand mark sorry <laughs> so it'll be right here uh okay his iliac. His, his iliac crest is gonna be right right here yes. somewhere Yes. And his and his lumbar vertebrae is going to be like oh. right in here, mm-hmm. and also right here would be his supercrystal line, mm-hmm. going all the way down here. Uh, his para Very spinal fine. muscles. Now para means two, so there's going to be two sets of muscles going all the way down his spine. Oh. That's your paraspinal muscles. Yes. The spine of the scapula. You can see it. Going to be right here. You can actually see it really well on him. Uh, the spinous process of um, cervical seven and move, move my head down so you can see the bumps. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the bumps. Cervical seven is going to be here. Thoracic one is going to be here. So mm-hmm. C seven, T one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, next, anatomical snuff box. Wow, you can actually see it really well on him, but it's this right here. Yeah. Uh, the flexor tendons of the wrist. Or these these two things right here sticking out. Mm-hmm. Uh, the antecubital fossa is going to be this indentation right here. Um, the correct medical name for this part of your um, elbow is, um, or this part of your forearm is antecubital. So just think yes. antecubital fossa. Uh, median cub- now the median cubital vein is going to be right here inside the antecubital fossa. Mm-hmm. Um, the brachial yeah. artery... Is going to be right here, and this is where you would listen um, if you were taking someone's um, blood pressure. I can actually, yeah, I can actually feel a good pulse right there. Woo! I'm alive. <laughs> uh, radial artery. Forgot. Yeah, radial artery. Okay. Radial artery is going to be right over here, and this is where you would take someone's pulse like in the hospital he actually has a pretty good pulse right there i can feel it mm-hmm. i'm alive <laughs> <laughs> the lateral and medial epicondyles of, of the humerus are going to be these two bumps right here yes so your funny bone right here mm-hmm. that is your i don't know why they call it your funny bone because when you hit it it's not funny at all it's, it's just very yeah it's the medial epicondyle this is the lateral epicondyle on the other side mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Quadriceps muscle. Oh, no. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stay out on the table. Is that going to work? Yeah, it'll work. Okay. Just... Woo! Okay. <laughs> so this this is his quadriceps... <laughs> this is his quadriceps muscle right here. <laughs> um, you can put your other leg down for oh. balance so you don't fall off the okay. table. Okay. <laughs> Um, Surface anatomy. Okay, okay his, his 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 vastus lateralis is going to be right here, Woo. side of his leg, and um, his patella, which is his kneecap, is going to be right here. Uh, his hamstrings <laughs> is going to be right here on the back of his leg. <laughs> uh, the pop. The popliteal fossa is going to be right here on on the back of his knee. Mm-hmm. The head of the head of the fibula. Turn around. It's right there. Yeah, it's right here. You can actually see it pretty well. It's right there. Boom. Um, the lateral malleolus. Okay. I'm gonna take my foot. My. Okay. Don't fall, please. Oh my okay. Gosh. okay. Okay. So the lateral. Let's see here. See my beautiful feet? Yes. Oh, yes. They're lovely. Okay. The lateral malleolus. Okay. L- lateral. Yeah. Lateral. Lateral is going to be here. That's bump. And the medial is going to be here. Mm-hmm. Uh, calcaneal tendon is going to be right here. Or your uh, tendon of Achilles. Mm-hmm. Uh, your, and your pedal pulse or uh, your, your, your posterior tibial artery 
you're gonna you're gonna be able to find it like right right around in this area. Mm -hmm. And your dorsalis pedis artery is gonna be on the on the top of the foot. Let's see if I can. It's right here. I feel it right here. Woo. You're alive. Yay. <laughs> and um, so now I'm just going to quickly go over your different pulse sites. Um, that was just his, 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 his pedal pulse that I felt right there. Mm -hmm. His posterior tibial artery, right up, right around here. Yep. His, um, his uh, popliteal pulse, right back here. Usually, you, usually it's hard to feel that on someone. You would probably need a, a Doppler to feel that. Um, and his, uh, yeah, you can get down now. <coughs> okay. His, his, his carotid pulse, it's going to be right here. His, uh, temporal pulse, it's going to be here. Mm -hmm. His brachial pulse, it's going to be here. His radial pulse, it's going to be here. What, am I, what else am I missing? Um, is it all the different pulse sites? I think so. Oh, facial pulse. Oh. Yes. It's going to be right here. I never use that in the hospital, but you might have to know for the lab exam. So. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe, I believe we've covered all of it. Oh, oh, the, the, uh, the uh, femoral pulse is going to be right here. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. I think, I think that's it. So. Yay! That's it. Happy studying! Yay! We believe in you! <laughs>